Hey guys, welcome to Technability. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Alright, what we have here is a Galaxy S4, Samsung Galaxy S4 running on CM 10.1 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. Uh, I haven't done a video emphasizing CM 10 on a Galaxy S4, so I wanted to go ahead and do that today. Actually, there is 4.3 builds out right now, but I would suggest holding off for the time being. I did flash it on an HTC One, but the problem is, is that it's not very stable. still has its minor issues. So we're going to go ahead and go through some of the features here that you can find on CM 10.2 for the Galaxy S4. All right, let's go ahead and just get started with the lock screen. Of course, with CM 10 lock screens, you get customizable shortcuts here, so you can unlock and set up these uh, shortcuts as whatever apps you want. Uh, you could swipe your finger over to the right and you can get the widgets tab. Swipe your finger over to the left and get the camera. So let's just go ahead and unlock the device here. Okay. So if we unlock the device, first thing you're going to see is the home screen layout. Uh, this is customizable as well. You could set up the grid size. You could set up how many rows of icons you want. And of course you got a static uh, search bar, which obviously persistent search bar, excuse me, which you could disable if you so wish. Tell me the weather. and mostly there you go you get the Google Now widget of course if you swipe over you can see how smooth the, the device is overall it's got a very very solid fluidity to it and you, you expect that with CM10 I mean CM10 is just perfected this the smoothness and fluidity and of course you have developer options so you can change the animation speeds and whatnot. All right, let's check out the notification bar okay you can see the notification bar is very similar to what you're gonna get with stock except you can add toggles up here so if you go to the settings, there's actually an option to add toggles. And the same with the quick settings. You can see the quick settings are customizable as well. So you could remove any of these and you can add whatever you so please. All right, let's go ahead and just go through these one by one. See the clock here? All right, the clock is, again, similar to what you get with stock. You got the alarm clock right here. Turn it off, turn it on, etc., etc. All right, let's check out the camera. All right, and a lot of people are excited or asking about whether the camera has the same features that you're going to get with TouchWiz. No, it does not. It's all stock, bone stock. But you can see it's super fast to take pictures. Okay. <laughs> it's burst shot working on its own. Believe it or not, guys, that's a feature that I just showed you. When you hold the, the, the uh, shutter, it actually takes pictures on its own. But in any case, I took the picture. So now if we go to the gallery and go to camera, you see the photo right there. And you have a filter tab right here, edit tab. So you can click on that and edit the picture as you so please. Go back and you have the option to share it. And now the cool thing about Android sharing is that third-party apps can be incorporated into the sharing options. So if uh, you download, let's say, Pixay Pro, Pixay Pro will be added here as an edit or Instagram, Twitter, whatever it is uh, that you download. Now if I zoom out, you can see I can pan through them as such. If I swipe down or swipe up, I could delete it. If I click this undo button, it comes back. And that's a stock Android feature, guys. Uh, that's not exclusive to CyanogenMod, but I just wanted to show you guys that it's very similar in that regard. All right, let's go ahead and look at the settings here. Okay, you can see with the settings, obviously, you got launcher settings. If you go to home screen, you can see there's grid size settings, home screen, you got default screen, stretch screen, persistent search bars we spoke of earlier, transition effects, which is really cool. Let's do Cuban, for example. Uh, you got all sorts of different wallpaper and indicator options. Uh, you also got various dock options. You can see pages, default page, icons in the dock, the amount of icons you want to put icon scale, whether or not you want to show or remove the dock divider. Of course you have themes which you can download in the Play Store for free. Plenty of them which are really cool. Alright, system options, status bar options. Uh, basically whether or not you want to show the percentage of your battery, whether or not you want to show the AM PM icon. Uh, you got quick settings panel which we just spoke of again which is this. You can customize it, remove apps, add apps. Uh, there's also uh, dynamic tiles which you can add and remove which only show at specific times such as bug report, IME changer and USB tether. Uh, you got expanded desktop, you got power menu options, which is this basically. Okay, that's the power menu options. And you have hardware keys if you were to have hardware keys. And of course, notification drawer options. Power widget would be that. That's the toggle that we spoke of earlier, power widget. Really cool. I love that feature up there because you don't need an extra widget. You got a widget right there in your notification drawer. So a nice little added feature. Now you can see the transition effects, cube in, cube out. And again, it doesn't change the fluidity of the device. It's still super smooth, super fast, immediate to your response. And the app drawer is the same. Again, if I take a widget here, actually, you know what? The Gmail is not going to work. But if I take, let's say, the, the digital clock here and I place it as such, okay, you have the option to do that. Of course, I can 
resize it and if I let's say I want to move this up here it'll move around the widget or if I want to put it on the home screen say for example it'll move around icons well, I don't have room on this home screen but it would move around the icons to fit the widget okay so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that alright let's see other features that are exclusive to CM is file manager which comes with signage and mod great file manager app okay definitely recommend it let's check out the browser alright you can see the browser pinch zoom responsive super duper fast nothing beats a stock Android browser I mean of course iOS has a certain fluidity in Windows Phone but uh, in terms of Android the stock browser the stock WebKit browser especially the one that comes with CM10 is just really really optimized well and obviously you have the tabs feature here you could swipe away or you could push that little X get out of there real quick okay go back to my home screen boom with a quickness let's check out the messaging app here the keyboard Okay. See the messaging gap, you can see the keyboard. Let's go ahead and just type something real quick. I'm sorry guys, it's just really hard to type while I'm viewing through a camera. But let's just do this here. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing today? Do you want to go out? I hear it's very nice in Hollywood. Hey, listen, do you want to go on a date out to Cancun? I know that doesn't make sense, but really, when I'm talking to this thing, it shouldn't really make that much sense. Check out technability.com. Check out that the billing. Well, it was good enough. And look, it's still typing as I'm talking. All right, and you can see how quick it exits app. And let me just go ahead and showcase that watch. Look at this. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Entering apps, exiting apps. Can you see how immediate that is, guys? Come on, tell me another phone or another operating system that operates to this speed. Look at that. And not just entering apps, but exiting apps as well. And you got the multitasking. I could do it one by one. Or guess what? I could just close them all at once. So there you guys go. CM 10.1, 4.2.2 Jelly Bean for the Galaxy S4. I'll post a download link below. I'll also post a how to on technability.com for you guys who want to install this. And again, it doesn't come with the bells and whistles that you're going to get with stock TouchWiz, AirView, et cetera, et cetera, all those uh, crazy, crazy gimmicks and features. But you are going to get a fluid, smooth, stock, clean Android experience, something that I know a lot of people enjoy. So if you guys are fans of stock Android, CM10 is the way to go. Of course, the Google Play Edition ROM is available. But if you want customizations, like true customizations, uh, check out CM10 for... Uh, the Galaxy S4. And just to compare it real quick here with the Note 2 running CM10, you can see the difference there. Okay. Really, it's about the same in fluidity and smoothness. Let's go ahead and just open an app here real quick, show you guys the difference. A little bit faster on the Galaxy S4. Let me just zoom in there on both of them. And we're going to be doing a video real soon, guys, on the Note 2 and Galaxy S4 running CM10. So check that out on our channel. Again, don't forget to subscribe to Technability and check out our website, www.technability.com. Thank you guys for watching. Have a safe weekend.